Lord have mercy, mercy, mercy. Demand them in. The whole of them. Watch them go. Dajia hao. Shang Xingji wo sangja HSK san de kao shu. Chiga kao shu hen nan. Dan shu yo yisi. This is an example question from the test that reads, Kanditu, look at the map. Hen rong yi, it's simple. Shang bei, up is north. Sha nan, down is south. Zuo shi, left is west. Yo dong, right is east. And then at the end it asks, Ming Bai La, do you understand? And in this particular question, you're supposed to write the character Bai, which looks like this. There was a time in hip hop where there were serious debates as to whether Diana King was one of the most beautiful women in R&B singing. She had a very simple look and she had short hair, which made her stand out from pretty much all of the other R&B singers of the day because she was not only short haired and almost having an afro, but she wore it in a way that was very attractive. But aside from her unique look, when she sang the song Shy Guy, she literally said, I don't want a fly guy, I want a shy guy. This spoke to a unique group of guys because this is not only a young lady singing about wanting a shy guy, but this song is in one of the most popular movies of the time, Bad Boys 2, where it's popularized. The shy guy that puts his head down and goes about his business, be it studying or going to work, or whatever. Someone is making a love song for that guy, and it touched a great number of guys. Now, why am I speaking of this in tandem with my terrible pronunciation in Chinese? This is why. Got girls there. Conventional wisdom for guys that are looking for young ladies to intermingle with or possibly date has been to go to places like clubs and learn how to chat girls up, go to bars and have riz, if you will, or even go to shopping malls and find ways to interact with such ladies. But for guys that are a bit shyer, Guys that don't have the presence to approach young ladies in certain situations, I want to actually suggest a different alternative for you in this video. Because some guys simply will go overseas and won't be the openly approaching type. And if you're in a more conservative country where the young ladies might be expecting you to make the first move, you may not know how to do that early on. So one of the things you can do in such a situation is instead of changing your approach to the ladies, you can change something else. Got girls there. This brings me back to Diana King and her alternative way of presenting herself in a way that people saw as beautiful and sexy. If you change the way that you look at solving the problem of how can I be in a situation where I can find young ladies to date, the alternative way of looking at it, in my opinion, is changing your environment. Finding an environment where young ladies are more relaxed and maybe not as guarded, and not just that, but you're talking to a kind of young lady that may not be the type to go to clubs. She might herself be shy. Because remember, it takes quite a bit for a young lady to overcome the shyness of going to a club in many cultures. And so some young ladies simply don't do that. So how can you put yourself in a situation where you can meet those young ladies? Got girls there. In the song Summertime, Will Smith sings about changing his location because he wants to go where the girls are. The verse begins, it's late in the day and I ain't been on the court yet. Hustle to the mall to get me a short set. Yeah, I got on sneaks, but I need a new pair because the basketball courts in the summer got girls there going to where the girls are. And one of the unique things about guys that are nerds is there's a place where nerds can go, where shy guys can go, that quote unquote, Got girls there. in no way am I saying that I'm all powerful, all seeing like Neo was from the Matrix, but in a way that's a little bit similar to the abilities that he developed in the Matrix is the older that we get, we have the opportunity to see and experience things that reshape the way that we look at the world. And in my journey of studying my 
second language and now learning my third language is if you are in a classroom or in a test room and you look around you can see a particular dynamic Got girls there. that has girls there and i mean a lot of young ladies and one of the things that you'll notice if you're in a classroom of young ladies or people that are studying a language let's say that you decide to just be personable and you don't want to date anyone in your class you can develop networks from just meeting young ladies or even your teacher and your teacher invites you to certain social functions and that social function is of people that might be looking to exchange English lessons or better yet they might be young people that would like to teach you your second third whatever language you're learning as a student who would like to make some extra income and do with this what you choose to what you will but this is a different way of getting an opportunity to expand your social group. If you are in a particular country and instead of going and partaking of the nightlife, you choose to go to somewhere where they're having lessons that are helping people learn the language, you get a chance to stick your foot into a pool of people that may not go to nightclubs. They may just go to coffee shops to do certain things in the daytime. And being someone who is not just interested in the language, but is showing yourself as not a party or a reveler, if you will, but someone who's there in a serious capacity, that's a pretty darn good way for a shy guy to get his foot in the door and find some young ladies to talk to. One of my favorite things to do when I have free time is to take my study materials and go to a coffee shop. I try to avoid the big dang coffee shops because I find that you can intermingle with the locals a bit better at smaller, more independent coffee shops. But I go there with my materials and I relax for an hour, hour and a half or so and study. These cards are an example of the kind of studying that I do. I printed them out in color, I laminate them, and I go through the cards while I'm studying, sipping coffee. And I'm not the most social person when I go to study. I'll make conversation with someone if they're in the area and they are curious, but nine times out of 10, I just sit and study because I'm studying for the test. But if you're the kind of person that feels more comfortable talking to people or making small talk in the daytime, a coffee shop's a pretty good place to do that. But more so, what you're illustrating, especially if you have a local coffee shop that you choose to go to and you study, is showing people around you that you are a person that is serious. You are a person with ambition and you might be shy. You may not be the kind of person that will approach, but if you put yourself in environments like coffee shops and testing rooms and language classrooms where you're finding young people or other people who are ambitious, they're forward thinking they're thinking about what they want to do in a few years from now you're going to meet people that maybe not are the type to go to clubs but they might be the type of person to look at an american guy or a young black clean cut guy who may be the quote-unquote shy guy and might take a little bit of interest in him part of game is not just what you say or where you say it but working on the environment where you're saying all of these things. And if your game is coffee shop game or language classroom game, the ends justify the means. Think about it because there's no better thing to do than to kill two birds with one stone. Learn a language and put yourself in an environment that is more apt to finding that young lady that you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.